Well, hi, Taurus. Welcome to your April general monthly reading, 2021, for sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Okay. So, the first card for you, Taurians, is going to have to do with what new energy is coming to you this month of April and giving you a new awareness. So what new awareness, what new energy? Let's see. Oh, look at that. Well, Taurus, you are crystal children. Some of you might know what that is. And if you don't, you might look up, look up crystal child. You're very empathic, very, very sensitive to energies around you and and it's number six and it says your natural core pure innocent removing falsehood seer your psychics your seers you look at that picture as long as you feel necessary because this will awaken you and maybe this is what this is the new awareness that's coming to you this month new energies of who you are who you truly are who you truly are okay and I'm being drawn to to read a little, little bit out of the book so and if if some of you already know this then you're just deepening that. You're deepening this knowledge about yourself and opening up who you truly are. And that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. And I happen to also be a crystal child. Okay, so 312, okay, let's just, and if you are possibly not, you might be the parent of a crystal child as well. So, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna read a little bit for if you are the parent first of this of a crystal child. Dear one, the crystal children of Lemuria are calling you. Can you feel their frequency, their light, their presence, their potential? You've drawn this card because you are ready to connect to this higher vibration to support these crystal beings. Imagine that you are on a beach in Lemuria and you are charging sea quartz crystals. Each of these crystals is a blessing for a new earth child a bearer of the crystalline frequency. Did you ever feel awkward when you couldn't connect to someone because they were on a different wavelength? It can be irritating if someone is much more sensitive, attuned to crystalline more than mundane matters. However, you are asked to attune to your heart to find the crystalline frequency of love and compassion. And these children, I wanna say, whether you are the parent of, or you are, or were, or you would be, even if you are not a child now, you're still going to be a crystal child. You're a clear channel. You have a wonder of life and of yourself, and you have a gift for the new earth. You have a knowledge, and you enjoy your own energies, and you also are here to clear out others' energies. You have great wisdom, great wisdom. Okay, so let me, now let me read a little bit from this, is if you are actually the crystal child, you will understand and you will know this right away. Did you ever feel like a sponge soaking up other people's emotions? If it was you trying to choose a crystal while others hurry, you might feel their stress. 
And what they were talking about there is earlier, which I didn't read, is talking about for the parent, if you go into a rock shop and your child is just slowly going over all and just looking at all of the different crystals and they can't choose one, they are actually charging them. And now they're saying if you're the child and you were the one looking over all these different crystals, you would feel the energy if your mother or father or whoever you were with was getting a little irritated or wanting you to hurry up. You would definitely be sensitive to that. Absolutely. Do you get tired from being around people? If someone tries to use your sensitivity to dump their emotions, you don't need to be affected. Be discerning so that you can give these emotions back, not by force, but rather by the power of your crystalline light. Imagine that you are in Lemuria and you are looking for sea crystals on the beach. Out of all the crystals that you find, you choose one to take to your current incarnation. This is exactly the right vibration, the crystal that honors your birthright. Remember this crystal so that you stay in your power and confidence. You have come to earth with a divine purpose, crystalline being. You are here to raise the vibration. Isn't it hard sometimes when people don't want your light on their shadow? when they make you into a culprit? Remember the sovereign path of your true self so that you can stand in your power. The message for you today is that you can be sovereign, that no one can stop you from celebrating the adventure of life. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there, wait. Yes. I'm going to say one more thing. Okay, crystalline being, connect to ancient Lemurian wisdom to use crystals for energy clearing and healing. You can raise your own vibration and heal others, which they will much appreciate. Be confident to shine your light so that they can recognize you and so that you step into your true self and purpose. That is beautiful. Tarians, okay. So that is so beautiful. So let me just see if there's anything else that needs to be said that I can see. So some of you might, I'm getting, um, and maybe it's, this is the month. Maybe you've been thinking about um, going to a, a shop, a rock shop, and, or, or maybe not, or maybe this is opening you up to thinking about that, to going ahead and going and getting some crystals or a crystal, whatever one calls out to you. Or maybe you've already done that. Maybe you've already done that. And so now you're knowing why, because you're a crystal child. And these have great healing for yourself and others. So don't feel ashamed. Don't feel bad about being different. You get to shine your bright light now. You're very, very sensitive. Great seer, and you have so much to share and give to this new world that's coming in that you are a part of. We need every single one of you. Okay, let me see if there's any, any tarot cards that can help to give out some any more details of okay what are the details of this new energy and this new awareness of of you and what you have to give to this um coming in of this new energy this new earth this lumerian activation frequency that's coming in ancient Lemuria. And if you don't know anything about Lemuria, if you've never heard that before, look that up because ancient Lemuria is where you come from. And you are here to bring in those light codes that are still on this earth, this earth that we are on right now. You are here to help and assist to bring those light codes 
in to this bringing in this new earth this new um, this energy of ancient Lemuria to assist in this new earth harmony peace unconditional love beautiful 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 okay so the knight of cups yes you have a message you have a message Taurus Taurians all of you all of you as Christ crystalline children or parents of crystalline children and you can assist your children in knowing who they are by reading up on, on them and I just got to if you are parents and if you are a child crystalline child too and you have not looked at or um, um, gotten your child's astrological natal wheel done do it, do it, do it, because that will assist you and get your own done as well, because you will, you will get to know your own child and yourself and how the, the positive, the positives and the negatives, meaning the clashes. So you will get to know yourself and you will get to know the relationship of you and your child and how, where you are compatible and where you're not. And that will completely assist you. And check out your north and south nodes of the moon and their north and south nodes of the moon. Because you will tremendously help them to be able to accept themselves and be able to be who they truly are. And they will have support where they didn't before. So, yes, emotional support. So you... With this Knight of Cups, I'm seeing if you're a parent, you will be able to give emotional support where you couldn't before in learning this about your child and then about yourself. And if you are the crystal child, this depth of learning about yourself again, it's going to bring you um, a greater peace and in your emotional body. A, a, more stable, peaceful, emotional self. That's your new energy coming in. And just learning this about yourself, if you don't know this, or deepening that knowledge of yourself that you come from Lemuria. If that, you know, if that doesn't, if you don't believe that, if that's not something that um, is in your belief system, that is perfectly all right. That is perfectly all right. But no that your psychic abilities are opening up your perception, your awareness of, of new energies, of frequencies that you didn't know before that you are susceptible to. You are very, very empathic. Start there. Maybe read about empaths. Read about, um, yes, empath, empaths. That will assist you very much. Okay, so now this next card has everything to do with how are you going to, to be able to heal and continue that healing process and that soul growth with this new awareness of yourself. Oh, Elven Ones, yes. Okay. This is Elven Ones with this new awareness and how you're going to assist yourself in, in your healing, on your healing path. And it's number four. And it says Divine Creation Codes. Starborn, Architects, Divas, Sacred Geometry. Okay, so what I'm getting first and foremost is when I read Divine Creation Codes, we all have encodements in our DNA and certain new energies that come to us, new experiences that come to us, new opportunities, they open up those codes in our DNA to expand who we are, who we 
we truly are and that's what's happening for you this is how this new awareness this new energy that's coming to you in April starting in April is going to increase that that opening up of those DNA codes that were um, that needed this activation whatever that new awareness is that new energy that's coming to you that's what it's doing for you it's helping you on that's how it's healing you that's how it's helping you on your personal mission your personal path it's going to be different for all of you but also I was also drawn to drawn to sacred geometry so you might you might have gotten interested just recently or this month in sacred geometry and learning more about that and that will also help open you up and further you on your path and I'm also getting that you are going to see the beauty that you possess and I'm not just meaning physical beauty which true physical beauty too but you're going to see the inner beauty of yourself and you're going to be able to I'm just hearing bask in that energetic beauty of who you truly are Tarians especially this month you're gonna start seeing that and then you're because you're seeing that in yourself that is going to enable you to see the beauty in all all life in a brand new way that is that is very very beautiful okay let's see if there's any other more details from the tarot cards Taurus Sun Moon Rising North or South notes of the moon for April any more details about this new awareness and how it's assisting them on their path their personal path this month of April Taurus I'm also getting to um, your balancing out number four to me is is and six they're both balance and um, harmoniously you're balancing yourself this, these, this energy, this awareness is gonna is enabling you to become more peaceful with inside yourself, more harmonious and more at peace with yourself, more balanced. Wherever you're out of balance, you will be balanced for us. Okay, that is beautiful. Okay, let's see what else. More detail. Look at that, Princess of Yes, it's it's in, with your emotional body. This is the Princess of Cups, and so so far, both cups. So it definitely has to do with balancing out of your emotions for most of you, for most of you. Being this is a general reading, and it's going to be different for all of you, but it's definitely you're coming into your emotions are maturing. That's what I'm getting. That's what's how it. It's assisting and healing you. So whatever you've been struggling with personally, with your emotional body, um, whether it's hurt, heartbreak, um, just being stagnant, whatever it is, you've had that stagnation, you've had that hurt, whatever that experience is that you have been working through or I'm trying to find a solution to, it has assisted you even though it's been very tough for some of you, these emotions to have to deal with, it has matured you and that is beautiful. And you're going, which then you're going to start seeing in April, the balancing out and that peacefulness inside you and that beauty, that beauty of that inner work for yourself. That is beautiful. Love that. And you're going to get to do a little play, a little joyful play and adventurousness. I, there's a there's a dolphin there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a dolphin. Dolphins are very playful and they're very wise too, so you have increased your wisdom as well. Taurus, okay. Okay, 
okay so let's now this third card has everything to do with how once you have healed and this this awareness this new energy coming in how are you going to put that out into the world how are you going to share that with others okay it's divine masculine it's another four so you've got two fours 44 is a master number you might want to look that up if you don't know what that means and you might be seeing 44 fours fours 44 444 this month and that's just a confirmation a synchronicity for you and, and what's been said in this reading is what I'm getting okay so this number four is rise of true gentle power true strength wow that's really beautiful Taurus so that's how you're share, you're going to be sharing this into the world, this new energy that's coming to you, this new awareness. You, you're going to be able to just gently, calmly, with your personal power, with your maturity that you have gained, and this peace that you have gained, inner peace with who you are and the truth that you have learned about yourself and about the world, you're going to be able to rise up very, just very gently, very peacefully, but you are so powerful in your words. You're very compassionate and you will be able to relay that compassionately, but your words, very powerful, very powerful in such a loving, gentle way. That's how you're going to be sharing that into the world. True strength. And it's tr true strength. So you are going to actually be... Um, it may be starting, starting in April. Actively putting into action this energy through peaceful gentle, compassionate words, advice, action, physical action in some way into the world for others to see. And let's let you see that so you can assist that in activating for you as well. And for some of you, I'm getting to, it might not be in April, this, this part, because this is the third you're going through three, you know, this whole process. And maybe some of you have been going through this process because you're going to all be different. So some of you are just beginning this process. Some of you have already been going through and maybe, and this then will be happening in April. If it's not, it, you're at a different juncture and that's perfectly all right. It's to come beyond April, but this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay. Let's get some more see some more details about how exactly how how is this gentle power and true strength of yours going to show itself how are you going to share let's get some more details about how is taurus sun moon rising with north or south notes of the moon going to share this new awareness this new energy out into the world whoops out into the world I can share it. And again, that's another dolphin. You have two dolphins. Water. Yes, water is. So you could have, if you don't have your sun sign in Taurus, you could definitely be a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You don't have to be, though. But um, you might have also some of you. A connection with dolphins dolphins um, be special your your spiritual animal for some of you or just a another special guide some of you I'm getting okay so under how you're going to gently but powerfully
speak this out into the world, this, this new awareness, is the Tower card. So that's Scorpio. Okay, so what I'm getting is transformation. So it's after either you personally are in the process of transformation, your personal transformation. And so after that, you will then be able to um, be this mature, gentle soul, compassionate soul, and um, wise, wise, mature, and be able to um, express yourself and in whatever way that is, it's going to be different for all of you to share that into the world. And if it's not, if you've already, it's a big change too for some of you, because see, to me this tower, this tower card is, is it's good. It's very good. It, it's a change. It's a new, maybe a new start. You're going to go in a new direction for some of you, whether it is, um, a personal direction, a business direction. But you're seeing things totally different. And it's taking you on the direction that you're supposed to go, that you that's best for you now. And I'm getting I'm looking at drawn to the fire. Very um, passionate about it. There's a spark of energy igniting in some of you, too, with this new change coming and new direction and new awareness. You're free. I'm getting, too. Some of you, you just feel free. Free from the old that was binding you and keeping you stagnated or whatever that energy was. You were being bound up because you were still working through whatever you needed to work through. Well, now, freedom. This, and it's an instant change, too. Instant, powerful, beautiful change that just, I'm seeing like you're bursting out of, I'm seeing an egg cracking open, but I'm seeing sparks and and fire coming out and you are coming out amongst that fire and so you are just alive and vibrant and full of life full of energy you have um, a new lease on life a new lease on life that's what I'm getting okay that's beautiful that's beautiful so let's see if there's anything else any more tarot cards that, yes, another tarot card wants to come out. Well, there you go. Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. So this is prosperity. This is abundance in the physical world. That's where you're going. This is what you are um, achieving by being this gentle, um, powerful, powerful truth teller. Truth teller, you're a seer. You're a seer. And I just got to, some of you are going to be using that psychic ability to speak your truth into the world. And and I just got to that, that some of you are going to be opening up um, to new gifts, new seer psychic gifts that you didn't know you had. Even if you have some, you, this is something new, or and 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 or deepening. Way beyond what you ever thought possible. And that's how you're going to use your. To tell the truth, you're going to just. Just you, just be you. Yes, it's very abundant, very abundant, very prosperous. The new door is opening again. There's a, you see the, I noticed that gate, or, but what I saw was an open door. And you're walking through it. There you go. That is beautiful, Taurus. Okay, so let's get a few, oh no, I want to also get, let's get some astrology cards. Let's see what 
astrological influences and energies that are strongest for you right now, this month of April, that are assisting you with all of this new awareness about yourself, your energies, who you are, where you're going, how are you going to share this with others? Okay, so let's see. What astrological energy is Taurus? Okay. The sixth house. Look at that. When I was just saying, sharing with others, the sixth house has everything to do with being of service to others. Health also. And so it's your personal health, and it's you being of service out in the world to others. There you go. So, yes. Wow. I'm being drawn to this bee. The bee, there's a bee here with, it's on a flower. And I'm getting you, uh, something about your, something about the nectar, the honey. It's sweet. This, this month is sweet. The nectar, you are bathing in the nectar, the sweetness of, of life that's starting for you this month of April and where you're going. And you're going to gain great satisfaction with whatever you're choosing to do to assist humanity, to, his, to assist others and to be of service once you've completed what I've talked about here. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful, Taurus. And this is the natural house. The sixth house is the natural house of Virgo, which is also an earth sign like Taurus. So that is very complimentary. I love that. Very, very good. Very, very good. So you have um, that also that ability to pay attention to detail. That's Virgo and the sixth house. So you're able, okay, what I'm getting is you're going to be able to, if you don't already, one thing you're going to gain, some of you, is the ability to be able to see what the, um, the details or see, because you're a seer, I mean, seeing what others can't see about themselves and where they need assistance and maybe that's in the health field meaning let me see I'm just a minute here some of you are going to be able to see others ailments physical ailments that are unseen in their bodies you're going to be able to scan their body and tell them what's wrong with them and and what they might need to do how they can best naturally naturally take care of that problem that's some of you yeah and if it's not a physical ailment it could be you could some of you could be being able to see the freak um tap into those frequencies that are around them or what they're dealing with, which could be emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and, and see where they need help, need assistance. And you can tap into that though, those frequencies that they don't know about and guide them properly, some of you. And I'm also getting two. Only when asked, <laughs> I'm kidding, you don't just, those that come to you and ask for, for assistance, and maybe that's your field already, and it's just deepening, it's expanding for you. Okay, let's see now, let's get it. Whatever. positive 
card just to assist with that. Let's get one card here. It is what it is. Number six. So, wow, in this reading, you have two sixes and two fours and actually three sixes the sixth house so six 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 is also significant for you and it is a positive it is not a negative like we have been taught look it look it up so sixes will be significant six 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 sixty six you might be seeing them a lot and and that means something that is another verification and a sign of synchronicity for you about what is happening and here is another door here is another door so it's number six and it is a door and here you're opening the door or the door is opening for you your new new opportunity new life new awareness of course is a new awareness whatever that is it's leading you you are on your path it's leading you on your path to be of assistance and service to others wow That's beautiful. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, that's all I have for you, Taurus, for the month of April. And you, you have a tremendous month. If you have any questions or comments, please, please, I would love to hear from you. And if any of you would like me to read your north and south notes of the moon or your child's north and south notes of the moon, uh, zodiac sign and house sign, please let me know. Leave a comment below or email me. I would love to do that. Because if you don't know, I'm a, an astrologer of 25 years. And the north and south notes of the moon, again, that is each and every one of our personal work that are, it's in our subconscious. We don't know until we bring that out. And then, wow, watch yourself be freed. Watch your child's self be freed, especially you would be assisting them as a parent, as a child, being able to know their, start to get to know their personal work as a child. Wow, that, that would be, that's out of this world. Okay, so until next time.